I have a profound love of the Catholic Church. It's specific religious mission has formed the person that I am. That it is the largest global humanitarian network in the world renders me forever committed to its health and vitality. And I have a profound sense of hope and appreciation for an intervention that we can make in the life of the church, which is to attend in a very serious way to elevating women to positions of leadership and ensuring that women are at the tables of decision making at every level in the church for the sake of its mission. I think it shines a spotlight in a very joyful and meaningful way on the lives of extraordinary women who come from many parts of our globe. They are at the vanguard wherever there is human suffering and they are helping lead the way to alleviating that human suffering, to championing justice, to advancing peace, and to ennobling every one of us, women and men, to become agents of transformation and to radiate a sense of hope that no matter how intractable the problems of the world may be, we are all invited to participate and can play a meaningful and positive role in the world. To me, it is an invitation to be part of something that is constitutive of being human. We can't abdicate our responsibility to, in, in the face of so much violence and violation and war and heartache in the world. To be a person of faith means to be committed radically to advancing peace, to being a peacemaker, and it can happen at the local level, in our families, in our communities, in our countries, and across the globe. To do nothing is to be complicit.